So what you see here is this is basically sort of uh, for those that are, may not be familiar. This is uh, uh, I'm logged into Workato and within Workato, I'm in the tools area where you actually use the Workato SDK to build connectors. And then there's a whole life cycle around it. So today I'm going to sort of uh, uh, walk through and, and build a connector with you all. So I clicked on new connector. Then I've got a couple of options. We are going to go with the first approach. So uh, uh, let's say the, the one that I had in mind was a, a, a application called front. And now uh, uh, what you see here is essentially you see the editor on the left side. And then on the right side, you see the new co-pilot. So uh, the way uh, uh, we chose to, to create the experience is essentially where uh, users communicate with the co-pilot and, and, and then the co-pilot generates a piece of code, then, uh, uh, then the user is asked to test the piece of code and then, and, and then uh, accept it. So that's the loop for every sort of, that, that in order to make sure that the be it code, be it recipe that is being generated uh, it is the right one, it fits what sort of uh, the, the user was expecting, we always sort of uh, follow, follow that, that sort of uh, path. So the first thing Copilot is asking me is like, okay, what do you want to build today? And, and uh, can you point me to the, to the documentation uh, for that particular application? So I'm just going to uh, paste that here. Uh, and then it basically sort of, we've also built, th this is quite fast, uh, as you saw, we've built essentially uh, um, um, a, a, a database of uh, APIs that that that, uh, that we essentially whose documentation we understand a and what it does it first it hits that cache if it finds it it picks it up otherwise it is going to go understand uh, the, uh, those pages and, and figure out what the documentation is saying so what it is saying right now is that hey you know there's two types of auth models available which one do you want to use so I'm going to say uh, I, I want to use um, a request token. Um, and um, uh, now what it is doing is it's basically uh, for the connector, it is generating the authentication code based on what I just selected. And of course, based on what the document the documentation indicated. But then it is instructing me to copy it and, and actually add it to the section, which I'm going to do and, and uh, I'll save it. And, and I, as I in indicated, um, uh, I'm actually going to uh, uh, sort of, it instructs me to test it. So I'm going to go to debug. And here I have to provide it a, a token. So I have the token available. So I'm going to go there, get this token. So this is essentially, now we're going to try to validate the, the, that the code that was generated, uh, whether it actually works. In order to do that, we had to supply it with a token. So I'm cutting and pasting that. I'm going to say connect. Uh, so what you saw was that it actually connected successfully. And then it sent me over to the console to see whether it sort of, it, it actually worked uh, uh, the way we intended it to work. So, so essentially now what we just did, we generated code for auth, didn't have to understand any of the details, but, but if you want to, uh, you, you can of course look at the code itself but also you can ask uh, 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 it to explain what is going on in, in, in the code that was just uh, generated. So, uh, so it's a great sort of learning tool, right? If you may not be an expert in, in, in Workato's SDK, but, uh, but this helps you understand uh, what was uh, just generated and, and summarize it in a manner that it is easy to process. And, while uh, sort of um, uh, it is doing that, uh, we can also ask it questions. Uh, so for example, so I'm asking it, what, what are the possible uh, sort of uh, 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 um, contact capabilities that it supports? So because it understood the documentation based on that, it sort of goes in, looks at the different endpoints that are supported and, and, and then it, it generates this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an action. So, so far, all we have done is, is just create a, uh, the, the, the auth block. Now I'm going to add an action. And because I, I sort of, look, it, it told me what are the possible actions, I'm going to say 
create contact. Uh, I saw that was available, so I'm going to ask uh, it to create a contact for me. So it generated that, and then I'm going to copy this code block uh, for the action. I'm going to add it here, and, and uh, I will scroll back up. And now I'm going to go into debug. So this is the other really interesting thing, right? The, the sort of, I, I really love how it, it comes together as in we generated the code, added the code, and then immediately you now see that there is an action that is available to test, right? This is the code that was, uh, was generated. So I'm going to go here, uh, I want to test it. And we have integrated this, of course, uh, with, with, with the editor. So I'm just going to give some, some, some uh, really, um, John, it's a contact. Then I'm going to add some, uh, some, there are some required fields here. So let's say uh, sources email. Okay. And so basically what we're doing here, right? So what happened is I said, I wanted to test it. And then when I clicked on test, it brought up the uh, uh, the, the Workado uh, uh, debug environment where I'm actually entering the data uh, that I want to provide for the test. And then I'm going to hit on test action. So, uh, um, so now it is giving us some information about what happened. This is the input. This is the output. Looks like it all worked very well. And then we also have lots of sort of detail in terms of the call yeah. stack, it's basically like all the debug information that you need. So this is basically uh, 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 how the, the, uh, 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 we are recommending um, uh, um, users build using the SDK. You essentially sort of build um, an action, a trigger, an auth block one at a time, uh, uh, review the generated code, uh, test the generated code uh, before accepting it, and uh, this, this is really important because if we, for example, it's very easy for us to generate the entire sort of connector with all the API endpoints, but, but uh, at least at this stage, it's really important to understand what's, what has been generated, uh, uh, review it, accept it, uh, and, and really take ownership because ultimately this, is, this could be uh, end up using by thousands or five, uh, several thousand uh, users, customers. So, um, so that's so, so that's the approach that we have taken. There's a lot of transparency here, right, for the builder to see what's going on to validate that it's meeting meeting their needs. That, that's right, Karuna. Thanks for bringing that up, and that that is also why we we put this explain uh, uh, function, the explain code, because it's really important to understand what is going on, uh, and. and and uh, also, uh, we won't go into this now, but I, I want to show a little bit of recipe before we completely uh, run out of time. But the, uh, there's also this edit option where you can actually sort of uh, give it feedback that, hey, is there a better way to do this? And, and then it, it uh, 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 Copilot offers uh, suggestions. So the, as you notice, the entire experience, it's, it's not single, like one shot, right? It, it's, it's interactive. Uh, you, you collaborate till you get it to the right place uh, uh, before uh, before generation.